another video. Today, let me show you guys what's in my tackle box here for the start of the 2021 season. So let's get right into it. I'm still using the same bag from last year. I really like this tackle box. It's the Red Gills, the P2, I do believe. And it is a backpack style tackle box. As you guys can see by the straps right here. I like the backpack style just because I'm normally fishing from ponds and stuff so I can keep it right with me and everything nice and handy. So starting up top here, this is a hard sunglasses case right now. My sunglasses are not in it, but when I am fishing, they're either in here or on my head, so keeps them nice, safe, and protected if they were to draw. And then right here is just a water bottle pocket, and you can either put a water bottle in here, whatever drink you want, but I've also seen some guys, uh, they'll take their scale and they'll put it in here, and then also has like a little cinch. You can cinch it down so that way it doesn't fall out or anything. You do have some molly webbing on the side right here, underneath the water bottle pocket. And then right here in this side pocket here, right below the water bottle pocket, I just have just an unopened buzz bait that I keep in here. Just got this as you guys saw from the last unboxing, so I just put it in this pocket for now. But also in this pocket, normally I'll keep my uh, chesty for my GoPro, maybe a few extra batteries and whatnot, so that's what this pocket is mainly used for. And then flipping to the other side here, you have this, I don't know if you guys can see it, you have this little like net, rubberized net here. And what I'll do here is I'll throw like anything that's been in the water, so it can air dry and it doesn't rust before I put it away, that's all I'll throw in this. And then right in here, behind the net, there's actually a pocket. And then in here, I'll keep my wacky rigging tool, which if you guys haven't seen this, you put your worm in this tool, and then it has these little rubber bands on it that you would just slide onto the worm. You actually put your hook through the rubber band instead of actually on the worm, so that way your worm will last a lot longer. And you can just, these things are really cheap. I think you can pick them up from, you know, Bass Pro Shops from here for like five bucks. Not very expensive. And then also in this pocket, I have some tackle tray dividers, which are always nice to have with you in case, you know, one breaks or you need to divide some tackle. On this side, there's a flyer spot right here. I'll just keep some flyers handy, you know, for them treble hooks. They do get stuck sometimes. Or, you know, if a fish chokes on the hook and swallows it, you got some pliers handy. Right on the front pocket right here is just keep some extra line in there. You never know when you're going to need some line. You might need to tie on a leader or something. And then I also keep an extra GoPro charger in here, which normally I do bring a power bank to in case, you know, if I'm fishing for long days. Uh, we got an extra pack of hooks in here. There's some 4 op Texas rigging hooks. And this is a pack of worms that actually came with the bag. So I don't use these too often, but they're here just in case I need them. And then this is where your tackle trays are. So right above it until the top here is this big opening pouch. And up here is where I keep mostly all my soft plastics. And so we got some 3.3 inch green pumpkin pearl saucy swimmers. We got some more 3.3 inch magic sad saucy swimmers. Some 3.3 inch plobe red saucy swimmers. I like the 3.3 inch ones for trailers on like um, some of your smaller baits, and then for the like the click bait and stuff, some of your different chatter bait chatter baits, I'll use 3.8 inch ones. They're uh, Adobe, and then I have some cream pumpkin pearl ones. I also sometimes run some of the 3.8 inch ones on the smaller ponds, you know, with just a, a belly weighted hook or something. And then we got some 3.8 inch white pearl shad. The white's always nice to have for a trailer color. And then we got some 3.8 inch blue brew red. So there's some saucy swimmers that I keep up here. And then in this Bass Mafia bag here, it's just a Guggen Squad Bass Mafia bag. I keep all my soft plastics in it. And then I'll show you guys what I got. So here we got some green pumpkin trench holes. 
I like the trench hogs. They're nice. They got a lot of movement to them. I do want to try out their new baby trench hogs, so I'll probably have to order some of them and give them a shot. We got some green pumpkin crack and rolls. We got some green pumpkin slim shakes. Let's see, we got some baby bass lunker logs. One of my favorite worms, the Mondo worm, the green pumpkin. This is the 10 inch version. They also have a 7 inch version. If I have to get some, a hold of some of those, but these Mondo worms are crazy come summertime warm water. Another nice bait right here, the Bandito, the Bama Bug color. This is probably my favorite color. Uh, I got it in one of the Guggen Squad boxes in a challenge video that you guys probably saw a while back. And I just fell in love with it since. I really like this color. It works out really nice for me around here. Got some Okeechobee Troll Bandito Bugs. Another pack of Trench Hogs, which is the Blue Baby color. We got some 6 inch Lucker Lollies, and this is the Green Pumpkin Blue. And then we got some Green Pumpkin Crack and Crawls. We got some Green Pumpkin 6 inch Lunker Logs. Lunker logs are a very nice stick bait. You can do whatever really with them. They're very versatile. Some black and blue crack and curls. Some plum mondo worms. These are nice for your darker waters. Anything, you know, with that darker shadow is works really well in your darker, dirtier waters. And then we got some green pumpkin lunker logs, five inch version. Uh, we got these new things to try out. The rattle and chunks, black and blue flake. They have little rattles in them. Which is gonna be a very nice trailer for some your jigs and stuff. And then we got some watermelon red crack and curls. We got some natural bandito bugs here. We got some black and blue crack and curls. And then we have the brand new Explode Guggen Squad Toads, and these are in the summer crawl color. So excited to give these a shot this year, also. But that's mostly that's mostly all the soft plastics that I have in this bag. Sometimes I'll take some out, switch them out. You know, depending on what I'm fishing. Normally, I kind of bring a little bit of everything, just because I'm not sure what the ponds gonna look like that day or whatnot. So that's why I have so many soft plastics. I like to fish a lot of soft plastics. So now we'll dive into this pocket here. It does hold three 3700 series trays. And in here, in this box, I keep some of my frogs and some of my, you know, jigs and whatnot. But we just got some different, you know, topwater popping frogs. These are Lunker Hunt brand. I do like these ones a lot. And then we got some different jigs. We got a little juice jig here in the Okeechobee crawl color. And then you guys saw me unbox a bunch of these in my last video. These were some of the Grass Hero Swim Jigs from Guggen Squad. We got a couple different colors in them. So that's what I normally keep in this box. Not too much. This box is pretty simple. And these are the Lure Lock boxes. So inside them they have the sticky stuff so that way none of your stuff you shake it around. It's not, nothing's going to fall out, tip over. It all stays nice locked in place. And then we got one more of those Lure Lock boxes. And this one has more of my hard baits in it. We got some some clutches up here, and then we got some, you know, recons, which is just their Guggen Squad's crankbait. We got a scout, another, this is a junior scout, so this one's a little bit smaller, which is nice for this ponds. And we got some square bales, and then we have some of the Guggen Squad click baits, which is their uh, chatter bait. Got some new stuff for this year to try out, and I'm pretty excited for it. And then... One of the coolest tackle boxes is this Bass Mafia Terminal Coffin. And it's, you know, very heavy duty and everything. But when you open it up, you'll see why it's so neat is that everything has its own case here. So these things can just slide open. I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's foam inside here. So this side's all weights, and it keeps your weights individually. So that way, if you 
have like colored weights. The paint doesn't chip off of them stuff. So. And on this side, you just have some hook slides and you can keep your hooks down in there all nicely, same way, so that way they all stay nice and organized. Now at the bottom here, you do have some different dividers for whatever you want. And what's nice is these dividers, they stay put. They come uh, ready to go. You can move them around, but most of the time they stay put. And then I added this mesh here, which is kind of like stuff you buy for like your cabinet uh, drawers and whatnot for the bottom. But what I like about it is when this closes up, all this stuff in the trays, if you have like little sinkers and stuff, it really seals the top of it and none of it will be able to slide around and get out anywhere. And then, I didn't talk about this, but at the upper part of this flap, which is where your sunglass case is, has this little clear pocket. And then here, we got, we got another buzz bait. And then we have some, the Dugan Squad spinner baits here. We got one uh, blue go color. We got one in this white. And then we got one in this orange color. I forget exactly what it's called, but it works out pretty well. I used it a lot last year, I really liked it. But for the most part, that's what's in my uh, tackle box for the start of the 2021 fishing season. If you guys want to see anything else more like in depth or have any you know good ideas for me to do that you want to see in the summertime coming up on fishing season let me know in the comments but hopefully you guys liked the video make sure to like and subscribe see you guys in the next one